This is a story of two best friends. They're both soldiers. It was referred to me as uh, an historical uh, episode that happened out of World War I. And the story goes something like this, that there was trench warfare, no man's land in the middle of this wide open expanse, and the Americans were trying to advance across no man's land to take the German army by surprise. It was the middle of the night, and as the Americans uh, crossed that field, suddenly a spotlight hit them, and the warfare became very intense, and they became under a great amount of fire. So they had to retreat back to their own trench. When they got back to the safety of their trench, one soldier discovered that his best friend hadn't made it back and was still out there somewhere in no man's land. So he went to his commanding officer and said, Sarge, I have to go, and I have to get my friend. And he was commanded to stay put. And he said, no, Sarge, you don't understand. I have made a commitment to him. I've made a commitment to his family back home. I have to go get him. And his sergeant said, if you leave now, you're going to die too, and that's a waste. And the soldier said, I'm sorry, but I have to go. And he climbed out of the trench, and he went out into the darkness of the night. And a few hours later, in the early morning darkness, the sergeant gathered his platoon, and they went out onto the field to see if they could find the soldier and his friend. They found both of the men lying in the mud. The first soldier was shot. He was dead. And the second soldier was shot as well, and he was laying in the mud dying. And so the sergeant stood over him, and he had a look of disgust on his face, and he said, you see... What a total waste. You failed to save your friend, and now you've gotten yourself killed. This was pointless. It was fruitless. I hope you see that this was an absolute waste of your life. And the dying soldier looked up at his sergeant, and he had a look of peace on his face. And he said, oh, no, Sarge. It was worth it, he said. Because when I got to him, he said, I knew you'd come. I knew you'd come. I knew you'd come. Friends, that's what love does. Love sacrifices. Love never fails. Love lays down its life. That's why Jesus taught it that way. Jesus is the one who said, greater love has no one than this, than a man would lay down his life for his friends. And in all of history, Jesus is the only one who taught that. And then a few hours later, he lived it. 